Mediation may be what it takes to get Sophie Turner and Joe Jonas's messy divorce out of the headlines. Lawyers for the estranged couple met in federal court in Manhattan Tuesday where they agreed to a four-day mediation, which starts Wednesday. The mediation is set to begin after a federal judge set a January 2nd trial date to decide whether or not Jonas, 34, wrongfully retained their children, Willa, 3, and Delphine, 14 months, in the U.S. by withholding their passports, as alleged by Turner, 27. Turner's lawyer Stephen Cullen said Tuesday in court her team would go full hog to resolve the matter during the planned Manhattan-based mediation and had sought an amicable resolution in the case which invoked International Hague Convention Treaty Laws. Jonas legal team echoed the sentiment. Let there be mediation, said Jonas lawyer Richard Min, adding that his team is optimistic they have given space to mediate and four days is enough time. As both seek to determine custody after Jonas filed for divorce in Miami on September 5th, the couple have everything to gain by working out their issues in private mediation, say legal experts. Mediation is clearly a common way to make headlines disappear, says L.A.-based family law specialist Steve Mindel, who is not connected to the case. At this point, Joe and Sophie have to sit down and make a decision, and the mediator will help them make that decision as to whether or not they want to really be public with this. The mediator will have a host of issues to wade through once the process begins Wednesday, from a basic parenting plan to which court will have jurisdiction over the divorce. Currently, proceedings have begun in Florida, New York, and the UK. If the pair can come to terms, the Hague issue and a federal trial could be avoided, adds Mindel. The next few days will be an intense process for the couple. Regardless on Zoom or in person, negotiations are commonly all-day affairs, says Mindel. They start at 9 a.m. and if the mediator is making traction, you might go to 8, 9, or 10 o'clock at night. To do that four days in a row would be exhausting. By clearing four days, he notes, both Joe and Sophie are committing an amazing amount of resources to solve this. If the mediation proves successful, Jonas and Turner will likely hatch a custody agreement that extends roughly three years to when their eldest, Willa, will attend kindergarten. That's probably about as far as they're going to get in this mediation, predicts Mindel, saying it's routine for a couple to reevaluate based on schooling needs. The young age of their children is paramount in cases like this. Judge Catherine Phila said in court Tuesday she echo ES concerns about the children given their young age. The January trial date was hashed out Tuesday after Jonas and Turner's legal teams disclosed the star's various upcoming commitments, including Jonas' tour dates and Turner's UK work plans. Lawyers for the pair disagreed on how long the trial would take. Turner's lawyer estimated two and a half days focusing on where the children's habitual residence was, while Min took a different stance, saying a week was necessary or possibly longer. These are two individuals who have a lot of family, friends, social contacts, and business relationships that factor into their decision-making and their discussions, said Min, noting there would be numerous key witnesses. Cullen vehemently disagreed with the need for a long list of depositions. Currently, both parents have access to the children who are residing in New York with Turner while the case is pending, it was stated in court Tuesday. The parties are both seeing their children, which is what we all want, said Cullen.